Luther, The Fallen Son. It's a movie from uh, some year that I can remember right now because I'm sitting outside and trying to do something new with this channel actually. I'm not sure if I'll succeed, but I will try to do something new. But Luther, The Fallen Son, spelled S-U-N, so not son, but son. I'm not sure if anyone can hear the difference. I surely can't. But maybe you can if you are a natural English speaker, which I'm not. English is my, my second language. And you, I'm sure you can hear that, that my pronunciation isn't all that good. But never mind. Luther, the Fallen Son. It's an action thriller, maybe. It's about this uh, uh, detective. This uh, bad cop, really. Well, he seems to be a bad cop. He's uh, in charge of an investigation of a uh, serial killer. But during the time he's investigating, he, he does some things that, that are not really good or lawful. So he ends up in jail. Which is a pity, because he is kind of the one that, that uh, knows the case and, and has the, the stamina to, to set out to catch the killer. But he's sent to jail and uh, some other takes over. Fast forward a few years and we get uh, we get a new murder which he hears about in prison. And uh, he feels that the killer is reaching out for him, just him. And um, yeah, it's a long, gruesome case really. It's been gone on for years and it seems like it's very, very well planned to uh, to some extent. But anyway, uh, he escapes from prison. Um, and that is uh, not to the liking of the, uh, the officers in charge of, of the case now. They uh, now have two enemies. They have the killer and they have him. And he also has two enemies, or three or four, or but depending on how you count it. Because he is, he is not liked by by uh, the the um, the police commissioner. Is that the the title? Uh, the chief of the department of the police. I don't know what that's called. Anyway, he also has an inside contact, which might be trusted, might not be trusted. There is a small difference between those two. And uh, it's, a, it's a kind of um, poker game, really, between all of them, because some are bluffing and some are not bluffing so much. And we, as the audience, we know more or less who the killer is. We don't know exactly the motives behind all of it, but we know who is the killer. And we, we see the real terror that he inflicts on his victims. Uh, we don't know the full extent of it to begin with. Uh, we get to know that in the final scenes, and I won't spoil that for you. But we get to know that, and the, once we know that, it kind of uh, makes sense what happens up to that point, more or less. Uh, but not really, anyway. So... Um, it's a, a, a cat and mouse game between this retired or imprisoned cop and the killer and the rest of the police. And everyone seems to have a hidden agenda in, in this. So uh, everyone seems to have something more that they want out of this case than, than meets the eye. And I think that it's it's pretty interesting. I like really gruesome murders because they are really gruesome and sadistic in this movie they're not very on camera graphic i would say at least not if you compare to to some splatter movies and and things like that but this is not a splatter movie this is more a thriller action so it's more mainstream than than the average splatter movie i think but uh I think that we get the the feeling that it's uh, very gruesome, as I said. Um, but at the same time, it's very unsuspensive. It's not really exciting. It's gruesome, gruesome those killings. I like those. But the, the atmosphere is not 
really catching. I think that we could get... My nose is running. But we could go not get the, that real uh, top-notch feeling around the characters of the movie, I think. But in the end, I, I still think it's a movie well worth watching. And uh, I think that I will give this a 7 out of 10. Because it's, uh, yeah, I like the murders. And you should see it just for that. And if you like something else to watch after this one, and if you like something else to watch after you liked and subscribed to this clip, you can watch this one. And I think that you might enjoy that one as well. Uh, until then, have a nice day and uh, see you next time.